All right, next spot is here. MCA, free on Tuesdays. I think it's for Illinois or Chicago residents. Can I don't really know. Well, I might as well talk to the camera. I don't really know, but hopefully we're about to find out, and I'll let you all know. Second. Yeah. Uh, you know, looking at this, I just get the feeling of like seashells. You know how seashells come in different shapes and colors and stuff like that. That's just kind of what I feel. I also feel like it can be like continents or something like that. I don't know. That's just kind of how I feel when I see this particular piece of uh, artwork and everything. It's so colorful. I love like how the gold really makes all of the other colors pop and stuff like that. What if this is like represents like countries or something like that, you know? Like what country would that be? You know, like that would be like Africa maybe, maybe even Asia, India, and somewhere near is like Australia or something. There's something weird, you know. Not the painting being weird, but my interpretation more so than anything. Uh, this one is interesting too to me. It's like these people like need help or something like that. Maybe they're in a boat and kind of in the background there, there's like a city. Like maybe it's people coming to America from some location by boat, maybe, or something like that. You know, but I do like the, the yellows, the greens, the reds. And then you got the blue and some greens in there too for the sky. Right there, like a night nice sky. Maybe these people need some type of uh, help or something like that. But this one, I like it. Like I said, yeah, let's see who is this by. To be honest, this was sweet. But this right here is the photo that kind of stuck out the most to me. I don't know why. Maybe it's the pose or like the eyes or something like that. But this is definitely the one that stuck out the most versus like the other photographs. And what's interesting about this particular one is when you come here and you read it, uh, that's like the last one. So I think that is Tommy. Jimenez. And then when you read, it kind of says that Tommy Jimenez was the president of the predominantly Puerto Rican gang, the Latin Eagles. This is my first time actually ever hearing of that particular gang in Chicago. So that was interesting how this particular photographer captured the images and stuff but this is the one that really stuck out to me versus these other ones here i think they're all great i always like how like black and white photos kind of i don't know it really brings out something in the image versus like the colors you know like maybe it's something where it seems like they're frozen in time or something or it just captures the emotion or the depth of the person's like facial features, maybe the wrinkles, the fine lines, the hair, even the emotion, like the, you know, like what made this person right here smile, you know, or why is this person right, why is this kid smiling too? I love the hair, you know, but I don't know. I think she got like a Sony, what kind of Sony is that? Like a tape player or something like that, but I don't know that you see that emotion, but then you see this emotion right here to me, like, I want to say she's worried, but maybe she is worried. But if she is worried, what could she really be worried about, you know, during this particular time period? Stuff or maybe she's just content. Don't know. Just my quick interpretations of seeing these photographer photographs. So you can see Portrait of Dad when he was young. And this is that. I thought this one was sweet right here. 
just looking at it, how it was created, you know, like the black and the white, similar to like the photographs in a sense, but you could just see like a silhouette of a face, maybe a tie, maybe even a collared shirt that he had on, you know, I can't really see, you can't really make out the arms or necessarily like the arm placement, but you can kind of see maybe his pants and stuff, you know? It doesn't look like he's necessarily smiling, you know? You don't know what you would call the, uh, the pose or anything like that, but that's just kind of my interpretation of it. So, yeah, I think this is pretty cool too. This one right here was cool to me as well. Like just, I'm a person, if you know me, you know I like a lot of colors. And immediately when I saw this, I was like, wait, is that a dog with another dog? Or what if it's a llama or something like that? We're just looking at all the colors, I think is uh, cool. And how they laid them out and everything. And then I'm looking like right there, that looks like a mask almost, like, you know? Get a little closer so you can see. Like this is cool. And this is uh, who is this? Looking a red rose oil on canvas. That was the MCA and unfortunately only the first floor was open, but still it was free for Illinois residents. So if you're from Illinois and Chicago, definitely recommend to check it out. And again, it's free. You can never be free most of the, some of the time. I don't wanna say most of the time, all of the time, but at least some of the time you can't be free. And that's how I feel about uh, going to the MCA, Museum of Contemporary Art. So I uh, hope that you check it out. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.